Hi, this is one from the case Sams and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a piston feed tape. A video idea suggested to me from the friendly lion, a real life friend of mine who makes primarily bell cat videos. A link to his channel will be in the description in case you want to check him out. I know there's been a heap of tutorials on this, but I'm doing a tutorial anyway. As well as the tutorial, I'll show you five things you can make with the piston feed tape. Let's get right into it. So the first thing to do is to figure out how big you want the piston feed tape to be, because they come in different sizes. The maximum size you can have is a 13 by 13 piston feed tape because pistons can push a maximum of 12 blocks. For example, these lines of stone is 12 blocks long and this piston, piston can push that many. However, with that extra block there, this orange concrete, that makes it have 13 blocks and the piston won't be able to push it. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make a 4x4 piston feed tape. Let's get things started by making a 4x4 block square. And once you've got this square, then get rid of these corner blocks on opposite ends so therefore that block there and that block there or you could get rid of that block there and that block there it doesn't really matter then you place in the pistons all pistons must be in different directions from each other and be facing these blocks in the middle so therefore place pistons in like this Once you've got this end result, it's now time to do the redstone. First thing to figure out is what piston should have zero ticks and what piston should have two ticks. The way to figure it out is, is there a block directly next to the piston or not? For example, with this piston, there is, so there'll be zero ticks. But with this piston, there's an air block beside it, so no. And that'll be two ticks. So then you put in the lines like this. And this should be the end result. Next off, it's time to put in the redstone itself. So these two pistons here on opposite sides will have two ticks. So repeater there. And with this one, I'll put a repeater here, just so I can transfer the power of the redstone through the block. And then all the rest will be dust. And that will be the end result. Next, it's time to put in the monostable circuit. And this is how you basically create one sticky piston facing up, or you could use a regular piston but use a gravity effector block like sand or concrete powder. Like that, repeat on that side, dust on that side. Then if I give it a tester, you can see the block cycle round. Or to clearly see, make one unique block and then See that block's moved over to here now, so that's working. For most piston feed tapes, they usually have a clock running. And the kind of clock I like to make is one of those torch clocks. Which can be made sort of like this. That sets two ticks. This is the maximum speed you can possibly have for a piston feed tape. 
any faster and it will no longer work and the torch will just burn out for bedrock users who are watching this video you may need to change some repeater timings because pistons move slower in Minecraft Bedrock than in Java. For example, in Java we use the 240 rule where we have repeater set to two ticks here, set to four ticks here, and no repeater at all here. And that will work in Java. But it won't work in Minecraft Bedrock. However, they'll use the 360 rule. Three ticks there, six ticks there, and zero ticks there. And this will work in Minecraft Bedrock as well as Java. And I learnt this fact from the Bow Tire Man, who's also known as the Bedrock Mumbo Jumbo. Let's now check out five things that use a piston feed tape. Number one, a working carousel. This is an idea that I came up with for this video. So you go up these stairs, then drop into one of these composters, and then flick the lever. And as you can see, I'm going around and around like in a real carousel and cauldrons will also work as well if you don't like that brown color I so want to build this in my career world Number two, a moving set. I've seen a lot of mumbo jumbo videos on this, and no wonder, these things are really cool. Here I've made a wall with sort of a pixelated landscape on it, like these are meant to be clouds. But when I flick this lever, you see that I've got a moving set like I'm in the foreground and it gives the impression that I'm moving in the landscape and this uses a piston feed tape yes you can now put redstone on top of glass number three encoders as you can see with this piston feed tape it's all one color except for this block here that's because this is an encoder when this block gets to here it will switch this line off giving a different output to all the rest of the blocks which will keep that line on and this can be used for security systems and massive seven segment displays which was made by Minecrafters such as CMB Minecraft, FE Disco, and Cube Hamster back at 2011 2012. You can also use cauldrons and composters for more variable signal strengths. Number four, elevators. If you use a block and two fence gates repeatedly, you can create an elevator using piston feed tapes so what you do is flick this lever and then you can go right on up to the top here and this thing is as old as the seven segment displays and it was designed by Seth Blank I think Also, this can even work in crawl mode, as you may have seen in my coiling mechanics video. Number five, color choosers. Welcome back to my creative world, 
And this is why C4 Arcade, this is a building dedicated for the Connect 4 game. And I made a lot of different game modes for it. For example, that's the classic 7x6 board one. Well, this one's the 4x4x4 board one. And one feature that I have for each of these modes is a color chooser. And I did this by using a piss and feed tape and the slash clone command. So when I push this button, the color will change. And if I go over here, you summon the blocks using these buttons here. So middle one. See it spawns this light blue concrete powder here, which is what it is already. If I then switch it out for the cyan, and then summon one in, you can see it's a different color. But they're both very similar colors, so I'll probably do that other blue. There, that's a lot different. So you see, the clone command will clone whatever's on that block. Up the top here. That's it for this video. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See ya.